another Christmas PS5 tutorial because we have a big Christmas gift that was dropped by Lightning Mods just today. And that is, of course, the ability to run our PS5 game backups or PS5 game dumps is now available thanks to the release of the new ETA Hen version 1.2b and, of course, the Items Flow homebrew app with PS5 support, uh, which has now been released. So in this video, the idea is just to give you guys a full guide on how to get your game backups up and running on the PS5 if you have a jailbreakable PS5. It does still require firmware 4.03, 4.50 and 4.51 because it does take advantage of some of the fake package enabler features. So it may get ported to work on other versions without requiring the fake package enabler in future. But right now it does require that. So you need to be on 4.03, 4.50 or 4.51 in order to do this. So if we switch over to the computer, we have a compatibility list that was released. And this shows all of the titles that have been tested so far that are completely playable and the ones that have some issues. So you can see we've got Grand Theft Auto 3, the Definitive Edition, Vice City, San Andreas. We've got a bunch of demos. We've got Kenna. We've got Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. We've also got things like Sifu and Jedi Fallen Order. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is playable. Ghostwire Tokyo, Alan Wake Remake and more. And you can see the ones that are not working right now. So we've got, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat 11, Just Dance. These are playable, but they have some issues, as you can see here. But then there are the ones that are just not able to be dumped, like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Demon's Souls, Resident Evil Village, where the eboot fails to decrypt. Unfortunately, we need to wait till we get some kind of better decryption payload to be able to decrypt these games. But uh, yeah, obviously more will be added to this list as more are tested. But we have a good few that can be played right now. Now, there is a user called Bedro Zen who's sharing a lot of these backups, but obviously I can't uh, link you to any of those for obvious reasons. Next, we want to grab the latest version of Items Flow for the PS5. Make sure it is the version for the PS5, not the PS4, that you are downloading from pkg-zone.com. You can download it right here. And then what we want to do is copy that over to a USB drive. So I've got a USB drive right here. We're going to copy the Items Flow homebrew app onto the root of the USB. And then any game backups that you want to run, you also want to copy to the root of the USB. So I've got one right here for Ghost of Tsushima. So normally your game backups will be stored in some kind of zip file. So it'll be compressed into a zip file, a 7-zip file, a WinRAR file, something like that. So you'll need to extract it. So I've got 7-zip installed. You can use 7-zip or WinRAR to basically right click on it. And then you can go to 7-zip and open archive. And then from there, we can extract the contents. So you want to extract the folder that contains the game files, like the eboot.bin. That's the folder that you want to extract over to the root of your USB stick. So we'll go ahead and copy it right there. Okay, so once you've got your game dumps all copied over to your USB drive with the items flow package, we can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into our PS5. Okay, so we're going to head on over to the internet browser and load up our exploit page, es7in1.site. And then we're going to head down to the idle sauce host and run the jailbreak. Okay, here we go. And then you want to run the ETA hen payload version 1.2b. All right, there we go. It's up and running. Current IP address. Everything is loaded. Version 1.2b by Lightning Mods. Okay, so once you get that notification, we can press the PS button to exit and we're ready to go. So all we need to do is install the package file now. So if we go into settings, scroll down to the debug settings, go to game, click OK to that message and go down to package installer and install the items flow homebrew app. And there we go, ready to play. We head back out here. You can see we've now got items flow. So we're going to run items flow game manager, get that up and running. So app has been granted a jailbreak. So that means ETA Hen's working, getting it up and running. So we want to go to this PS5 option here, PS5 app brew 00001. We're going to select that option and change the app path. Now, what you can do with this is you can choose where you want to launch your game dump from. You can either launch it from the USB drive directly, or you can copy it from the USB drive to the internal SSD of the PS5 and launch it from there. Or you can say copy it to like an M.2 drive that you have installed on the PS5 and launch it from there. Now there are certain PS5 game dumps that require being run from a specific location. There's not that many, but there are a couple of them that like have to be launched from a USB and they will not work if they're launched from the internal SSD, for example. 
but most of them should work on any one of those. So the M.2 drive or the USB or the internal SSD, whichever one you would rather launch it from. So the easiest way to get up and running would just be to launch it directly from the USB drive because that's where we copied it to. So we'll try that first. If we go to change app path with X, then you can scroll down the left menu here. But then if you press R1, it will switch to the right menu, which should be your USB drive that's plugged in. And we can just find our game dump folder right here. So PPSA 03208. And we're going to press square to select that folder. And there we go. Game directory has been changed successfully. It, dete it detects the correct title ID there. And then we can just click the button here to launch it. So we press launch. Now with this particular game, it does give us this message, something went wrong. We just click OK a couple of times, but as you can see, it is actually launching. So here it is, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. I believe this is uh, on an update, like version 2.012, I think, or 2.12. And yep, here we go. Ghost of Tsushima loading from my USB stick right here. A PS5 game loading from the USB. Now, obviously loading is going to be slower if you're loading it from a USB stick instead of copying it to the internal hard drive. So most of you will probably want to copy it to either the internal hard drive or an NVMe drive, like an M.2 drive that you have installed in the PS5 so that you can load much faster. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if we exit out of the game here, what's cool about this is items flow will actually add a database entry for that game dump. So now you can just launch it straight from the home menu here and it's marked with FG at the beginning, which I believe stands for like flow game or something like that, I would assume. So